An atom is the smallest unit of an element that can exist on its own. And atoms are made up of subatomic particles. Subatomic means that these are particles that are smaller than the atom. These are the particles that we would find inside the atom. There are three subatomic particles that we commonly find inside the atom. These are the protons, which are positively charged particles that we find inside the nucleus. The neutrons, that are our neutral particles that we find also inside the nucleus. And the electrons, that are the negatively charged particles that we find in the energy levels around the nucleus. Important to note that the protons and neutrons are roughly the same size and mass, roughly the same size and mass as each other, where the electrons are much, much smaller and lighter than the protons and neutrons, and they move much faster than the protons and neutrons. Now, our common way of arranging the atoms is on the periodic table, or the elements is on the periodic table, which we have here, and they are arranged in order of the number of protons. As we can see, we would read this from left to right and then top to bottom. The number of protons that we find on the periodic table is referred to as the atomic number, and it is the number that we would find at the very top, just above the symbol. So here we have the symbol for hydrogen, and that tells us that there is, it has an atomic number of one, which means that there is one proton in the nucleus of a hydrogen atom. We can then see the second element is then helium with two protons, or an atomic number of two. The third element, lithium, with three protons, beryllium, four protons, as we can see. The number of protons, known as the atomic number, increases from left to right and top to bottom in the periodic table. We have given specific names to the rows and columns on a periodic table. We refer to the columns on a periodic table as the groups. So what we can see here is this column over here we would call group 1. This column we would call group 2. We will often find that these elements in group 3 to 12 are referred to as the transition elements. And so sometimes we refer to this over here, group 13, as group 3 as well. But there are essentially 18 groups. The reason why they are called groups is because elements that are in the same column tend to have similar properties. The rows that we would normally find on a periodic table we refer to as periods, where we would see this with hydrogen and helium is the first period. This column here, sodium, magnesium, and aluminium, we would refer to as the third period. The number of periods also corresponds to the number of energy levels that you would find in an atom where an element found in period one would have one energy level. An element found in period two would have two energy levels, etc. So what we can find on this periodic table is we see the atomic number that gives us our number of protons. Another number that we will always find on the periodic table is called the mass number, sometimes referred to as the atomic mass, but that can be confusing. So we prefer to call it the mass number. And the mass number gives us the, essentially the mass of a nucleus. Because the electrons are so light, the mass number is normally simply the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So our mass number, which often has the symbol A, is the sum of the number of protons in a nucleus and the number of neutrons in that nucleus. So if we take sodium as an example, we can see that sodium has an atomic number of 11. The atomic number often has the symbol Z. So Z being 11 tells us that there are 11 protons in a sodium nucleus. What we can then see is that it has a mass number, symbol A, of 23. What that tells us is that the sum of protons and neutrons is equal to 23. And since we know that there are 
11 protons, we can say our mass number 23 minus our atomic number of 11 gives us our number of neutrons, which is 12. So once again, our periodic table is arranged in order of increasing atomic number. Atomic number refers to the number of protons found in the nucleus of an element, and it is this number that we will find above the symbol for each element. They are arranged in groups and periods, where the groups are the columns on the periodic table arranged according to various characteristics, and the periods are the rows on the periodic table, which gives us an indication of the number of energy levels we would find in that element. The mass number that we will find on the periodic table is the sum of protons and neutrons in that element, and so we can calculate the number of neutrons that we would find in the nucleus. The number of neutrons is going to be equal to our mass number, A, minus the atomic number, Z, to give us the number of neutrons. And in a neutral atom, we will always have the same number of protons and electrons, because in order for it to be neutral, the amount of positive charge must be equal to the amount of negative charge.